Hello and welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can clone a private repo on AWS EC2 instance or it can be anywhere you, if you want to clone a private repo on any uh, server, how you can do that. So let's get started. So this is my repo. If you can see, this is, uh, I will want to clone this repo. So I will just go to my EC2 instance uh, terminal. I will clone this repo, get clone. As this is a private repo, so first of all, there's a multiple methods. So I will just write my username of GitHub. And the second thing is the password, okay? This, this is actually personal access token. So if you go to your uh, GitHub, go to the settings, And after the settings, you have to go to the developer settings. And here you have to click on personal access tokens and click on token. And here you have to click on generate a new token and click on generate new token classic. And just give name, I will give name GitHub. And you can set the expiration, uh, expiry. And then you have to select the scope, what kind of access you want to give. So in normal way, you can just set a uh, basic write discussions. So this is the main one, like user can uh, check the repo and they can easily clone the repo. So other info, uh, access you want to give like any admin access, admin public key, whatever the access you want to give, you have to just uh, assign this permission to this key, okay? So I'm just going to uh, uh, check box these only, okay? It's okay. So now let's just create this token and just make sure you copy and uh, save this token somewhere. And I would I'll go to my, yeah, here I have to paste this. This is actually a password. I just pasted it. Now you can see my repository is cloned. I can just check it. So if I just go here, test repo. If we want to get call region as my repo branch name is, so this is my repo as it is private, the branch name is main. So if I try to pull the new changes, okay, I will not be able, I will, it will ask me to again to enter the username and password, but I want to, uh, configure something that it should not ask me every time to enter the username and password. So for this, we have to do one thing. We have to generate a SSH key, okay? So you have to enter this command, oh, sorry, this command. But make sure you have to replace the email with your GitHub email. Okay, so I have replaced it with my email of the GitHub. It will create this SSH key. Just hit enter. Okay, so the key is created. Now we have to uh, just make sure this key is created and working fine. Okay. Uh, there is a two commands one is this one and the second is this one you have to run you can run these commands separately or you can run together as well okay so then what you have to do you have to copy the content of this key this is a key so i will copy this key and i will go to my uh, github i'll go to my github and i will go to the settings in the settings you have to go to ssh keys click on new ssh key i will give name github authentication key which is fine 
just save it so when this key is added then you have to just test using this command yes okay so uh, github is successfully authenticated now the last command you have to run make sure you are in the project folder when you run this command uh, the repo my repo name is test repo and here I have to replace the username of my github which is code with move done now if I try to pull the changes again get pull origin main so you can see it does not ask me the password again so we have successfully cloned the repo uh, of uh, the private repo so it's easy to uh, configure uh, the authentication to clone the private repo i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section see you in my next video bye